First, let's see how we can signal the ending of the presentation. A clear signal that you are concluding the presentation. This lets the audience wake up, pay attention. It gets everyone's attention. And you can use this signal before starting the summary. And of course, you can show your concluding slides. So we want to make sure the audience knows we're about to end the presentation. Well, how can we do that? Let's look at some practical examples. Before I run out of time, let me summarize. To summarize the points I have covered, in summary, That is a quick review of what we know. To summarize the main points, going over the most important points so far, okay, let's take a look at some of these very quickly. These are great examples, but you can see what they have in common. The word summarize. Summarize, summary, summarize. And this last one does not use the word summarize, but it does say points so far. So the points I've made so far. These are all good signaling words to help the audience know I'm about to end the presentation. So I need to summarize. Now, let me quickly remind everyone of the main points. Although there is a lot I have not covered, you now have the most important information. All this can be summarized as follows. Remembering the most important points. Okay, in these examples, we're not using the word summarize so much. Here's one example. Whoops, let me get back here. Here's one example of summarized. But besides that, in this one, we're using a little bit different approach, a little bit longer sentences. Let me remind everyone of the main points. You now have the most important information, the most important main points. And again here, the most important main points. So these are all ways to let the audience know, oh, time to wake up. We're going to hear the main point again. We're going to summarize. We're coming towards the end. 